Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to talk a little bit about community and also about what we're going to do for 2019. So um, I'm actually using something different today. Uh, if you guys maybe even notice, I'm going to walk around a little bit. I'm using the uh, DJI uh, Osmo Pocket. So Adorama loaned me this um, because I'm about to go on a trip um, to Ireland actually. So if anybody's in Ireland and wants to reach out, I'm going to be there uh, from the 11th, I think, to the... 20 something so anyways reach out if you're in Ireland send me a DM and uh, you know maybe we'll meet up or something but anyways um, I'm gonna do like a little bit more of a vloggy style when I'm there if you know I normally use the Mevo for this stuff and sometimes I use I use the 360 camera one time um, I think this is gonna be perfect because the Osmo is so tiny the Osmo pocket I should say and it's also stabilized so as I'm walking around it should be pretty cool and you can actually do a lot of vloggy stuff with it so we'll see how that actually works out for us but um, I actually, if you've watched any of these where I just talk, normally I just have like a little sentence I'm going to start with and I just kind of blather on until I run out of things to say, but today I actually have notes because I want to talk a little bit about what I want to do in 2019 because I want to get some feedback, but I also want to talk about community. So this is in relationship to uh, this channel or any YouTube channel, I guess, um, but also just in general in photography. I think that uh, um, a lot of photographers out there they get started and they they might think that um you know every other photographer is their competition right and that they need to uh to beat them or do better than them or or stop them but in fact i found that i've actually got the most success when i've worked with photographers working together because yeah you are in competition but it's in some sense it should be like a friendly competition right the idea that that um if we all succeed uh, together that's better you know, that's the way I look at it. And helping people, loaning each other equipment, testing out ideas, helping each other is really a good way to do it. I mean, yeah, you'll get the occasional jerk who's going to screw you over, maybe, I guess. But the amount of great people you're going to meet that are going to help you out and you're going to be able to help out is going to be much, much bigger than that. And I think that in those situations, this is especially true when you're first starting and you have a limited amount of gear, limited amount of resources. The ability to have like a friend come and like be the model for you or loan, you know, you equipment or pull your equipment together for a project is is amazing, right? Because we don't always have the budgets or the the equipment to do everything we want to do. So if somebody hires us, let's say to do something, we need four lights, we only have three. Well, hey, my friend has lights too. Maybe they'll loan me it for this job because you know, I'll loan them a light when they have a job. And that's kind of how we work and that's how I've always worked. And I think that really works out really well for um for this type of, you know, business where we're kind of, it's a business, but it's also, you know, a community in some sense, or it should be. I'm going to walk around a little bit because I want to test this Osmo a bit. So if I come in and out of light, oh, no, no, I'm in the office. Um, I'm guessing when I'm back, it's going to go dark. Oh, it doesn't do too bad. Um, anyways, so, yeah. Uh, community, I think it's super, super important. I mean, I, I'm curious out there with you guys, like how many of you, I'm walking backwards, how many of you, uh, you know, work with other photographers, have photographer friends that you guys sit down and do stuff with, you know, you guys kind of uh, share resources, share idea, ideas, model for each other, do those kind of things. I'm actually really curious about that. Um, so I want to get that conversation going a little bit because that turns into this, right? This is a community. More so than anything, this YouTube channel for me is the ability to reach out to you guys that have been following me and doing my other demos and stuff and have conversations, right? Talk about things that are that are not just, hey, here's where you put the light when you do this, here's where you put the light when you do that, you know, which I think is great, hopefully. I mean, I think you guys like that stuff. I've been doing it for so long. Um, but I think this new format, which I kind of stumbled upon, new format for me, I should say, uh, I don't know, six months ago, has been working out really well. So... Um, I think you guys like this, so in 2019, I'm definitely going to do more of this. Um, I am changing up uh, how I'm going to handle the videos, and that has to partially do with the fact that, look at my notes, um, Adorama has asked me to do uh, my regular onset videos, the ones that come out on Tuesdays at 10. Hopefully, you guys watch that. Make sure you subscribe to Adorama, because that's, that's where my money comes from, so <laughs> Daniel's got to pay the bills. Um, those videos on set with Darren Norton, um, not the live stuff that I do, that's something else. Um, those are going to be out every Tuesday now. So instead of every other Tuesday, which was the deal we made last year, they really want to be every Tuesday. So that's phenomenal for me. But it also means that I have to do a ton of tutorials for Adorama. And honestly, that's a lot of work. And so I think for the most part, I'm going to focus on keeping the tutorials on Adorama's channel. Um, after that, um, you know, in order to give you guys the maximum 
quality, I'll say, and, and for lack of a better word, of tutorial, I think that's the best way to do it. If I try to put tutorials on this channel, tutorials on that channel, and we start doing a whole bunch of different stuff, I think ultimately it's going to become um, clouded. So I'm going to focus on that. Um, so if you guys want, you know, the shorter tutorials, pre-shot tutorials, that's where they're going to be. And what I'm going to do here on this channel, I'm putting a chair down because I don't like walking around anymore. Um, what I'm going to do on this channel is I'm going to use my community tab, which uh, if you guys follow me on mobile, if you look on mobile, you can definitely see it. I'm not sure how you, on the web, you have to go look for it. But on the mobile, uh, it should automatically come up in your feed if you follow me. So, um, you know, the community tab I'll put a link. So if you don't follow Adorama, which you should, but maybe you know it gets clouded with how many videos they put up, uh, I'll be sure. So every Tuesday at ten, look for me. Uh, I'll put a, a a note, you know, in the community tab for that. Also, if you follow me on Facebook, I'll put a link there, and you know any of the other social uh, media platforms I follow. So if you want to see those kind of tutorials from me, that's where I'm going to put them. I will say this: there's some stuff that they don't necessarily want me to do or wouldn't want for that series. Um, things that are not, let's say, directly photography related, um, that kind of thing, um, you know, that fit outside the scope of that channel. For those, I'll put them here. Or things that maybe are, you know, just don't suit the Adorama vibe. So I will occasionally still do tutorials here. Um, if you guys definitely want to see a lot of tutorials here and that's the main focus that you want to see, then let me know because I'll, I'll do my best. But uh, as I said, I'm probably going to focus on doing um, most of those there. So you'll see those there. I've already shot a bunch for January, uh, a lot of fun stuff. If you guys have ideas of things you want to see, let me know because I have to shoot 53 videos this year for Adorama. That's a lot of content. So yeah, there's that. Okay, so on that note, for the live stuff, because I know you guys ask me that, that, about that a lot, and I love doing live stuff. So what I am going to do is, normally, if you follow me there, um, I do my live presentations at Adorama on Thursdays. used to be every Thursday a couple years ago. Um, they've changed the schedule, the way they do things. It's a lot of work to do on every Thursday. So again, I cut back last year. Uh, this year, I'm still going to probably stick to about two a month for Adorama. Um, so I will actually, in the description here, uh, I will put the links to the two. I'm about to put them up uh, uh, live. So when this goes live and look in the description, you'll see links to them um, if you want to sign up for them. Um, it, when the videos actually go live and you watch them, I'll put that, that link either in my community here or on my Facebook. So that's why it's always good to follow me on Facebook, Daniel Martin Photographer. Um, so, but what I'm going to do uh, or attempt to do starting in February is I'm going to, on the weeks that I'm not live at Adorama, I'm going to go live here from my studio. This is if I can get the internet set up here properly. We have really crappy internet. I don't know why in New York City you would have crappy internet, but we do. So uh, the guy's actually coming today. So assuming that works out, starting the first week in February, I will be live here. Um, so what I'm going to do is the weeks that I'm not live at Adorama, so I'm going to be live at Adorama on the 24th and the 31st, uh, the following week, and you know, the first week in February, I will go live at the same time, but I'll do it on my channel and I'll do it from my studio. So uh, it's going to be a little bit less uh, put together, we'll say, because I'm not going to have you know all the multicam and stuff. But I have my basic multicam stuff, so we'll see how that goes. That will give you guys um, a chance to have tutorials on this channel that also allow you to interact with me because I'll be able to answer chats and this and that, and uh, we won't have the restrictions of uh, you know me just putting it up and, and waiting for feedback. So. Um, that should be really fun. Hopefully you guys will like that. So the plan there is that on Tuesdays, I'm going to have my pre-recorded stuff on Adorama, which again, I'll put the link here. On Thursdays, I'll be live, either there or here. Um, then I'm going to uh, continue these blog posts because I love doing them and it seems like you guys really like them. Um, after I get back from Ireland, which is going to be kind of random, I'm going to do them when I can. Um, I will get back to a consistent schedule. I think I'm going to do them on Saturdays to spread stuff out so I have you know enough time to, in between things to actually get things together. I know I normally put them up on Mondays, which it's Monday now. Um, I may stick to that. We'll see. Uh, you know, I may do Mondays instead, but I'm going to try Saturdays and see how that works out for people. Um, so you'll see this style of video here. If you have questions that you want me to just talk about, um, and also equipment stuff, because I know you guys like some of the grip videos I did, so some of that stuff I'm going to try to do on Saturdays. Um, you know, hopefully giving you guys a decent amount of content uh, to watch from me, um, you know, throughout the week. So that's going to be my schedule. Um, the other things that I did last year that I think people liked um, that I want to continue, and you guys can let me know. Again, 
this, the whole point of this blog that I started today is that this is about a community, right? So um, I've had a few interviews, right? I've had uh, Seth on a couple times. We've had uh, Vanessa Joy, who was amazing. Uh, you know, I did the one with Marissa, which was crazy because it was raining and all kinds of things. Like I said, doing construction here. Um, and uh, I had Kent, who was amazing. Um, so I'm going to try to do more and more of those. Those are going to be a little bit more sporadic when the person can come in to do it. So I can't really say when I'll do those, but I'll do them whenever I can. I'll try to give a little bit of notice um, that I go live from that so that you guys can definitely ask questions and stuff because I really like those. Or maybe I'll try to do them on the Thursdays when I'm live so I keep things consistency. We'll, we'll see. Um, so I guess the other thing um, that I'm curious about, and I'm going to do one and you guys can tell me how you like it or you can tell me now I don't do it, but I'm going to do it anyways. Um, is I'm also actually kind of, I'm not a super techie guy, I probably say that a lot, um, but there's definitely some cool tech out there that I really think is interesting and that can change the way we live and work and stuff. So I'm going to do, um, talk a little bit about that in, in a video coming up, um, very specifically uh, like home integration of, of technology in the web and stuff, because I think it's super, super interesting. And I think it's one of those things that uh, you, know, you start to see technologies pop up uh, in different areas and then next thing you know, we're using them, you know. Um, there's so many things that are like in your phone and, and you know, different, uh, you know, now the home stuff that will eventually kind of work their way into cameras and how that integrates. And I think that's really, really interesting. Um, so, yeah, I think we'll, we'll see. I'll do one video about that kind of stuff and you guys can tell me whether or not you like it. Um, and we'll see it there. I mean, I'm not going to focus solely on that, but um, all right. So what I want to do from you guys is... Let me know what you want to see. Oh, pick up the Osmo again. Oh, we're on the move. Oh, picked it up. It's got face tracking, so hopefully I'm being tracked. It has this little tiny screen on it, which is really interesting. Maybe I'll do like a little like review. I uh, see here I am facing the light. Um, maybe I'll do a little uh, review of this when I get back. Or you guys will see how much I like it or don't like it when I, when, uh, when I get back because uh, we'll be using it for uh, about a week or so. I'm going to try to, I'm not going to vlog every day, but I'll try to throw a little bit of stuff up somewhere, either here or on Facebook. Um, but this is the Osmo Pocket. Um, they're loaning it to me um, to try for this, so hopefully it's pretty cool. I'm shooting uh, in 4K right now. We'll see if I upload in 4K or not because, oh, that's the other thing. See, I always forget something. I'm testing something, right? I'm going to go to Ireland with this little camera and also my 360 camera because I love that camera, but I won't shoot video in 360, I don't think, so it'll be too hard to, to upload uh, there. I am not bringing a, a computer. I'm bringing my phone um, and I'm going to use my phone as not only a camera, of course, um, but I'm also going to use it um, as a means to edit and upload this. In fact, I'm going to edit and upload this using my phone even though I can obviously use my computer because I'm not in Ireland yet as a test. So partially you guys are facilitating a test for me to uh, to see if I'm going to be able to do this or how frustrating it's going to be. No matter what, I'm going to try because I think it's really super interesting the idea that this thing is so tiny. I mean, it's super small and I can just stick it right in my pocket, really. Super easy, right? It's actually a little bit bigger than, I think, than my 360 camera, just the form factor. And it's a little more fragile, I guess, because um, it has the little gimbal um, but this plus my phone together are going to allow me to shoot video um, it's photos too but I don't think I'd actually use this to shoot photos to be honest with you um, it's got a tiny little sensor and I mean I'll, I think my phone will probably be a better actual camera um, and uh, my niece who's getting into photography now is bringing a camera so I'll probably just use her camera if I want to shoot anything else but I'm going to try to do like time lapses and stuff like that for my personal stuff um, we're also bringing a drone so um and I'm going to try to do something a little different. You know, it's like a lot of times when I've traveled in the past, I, I bring a small camera and I walk around and take pictures, street photography or whatever. But I think maybe shooting um, video might actually be a little more interesting for me. So uh, I'm going to try. And I love the idea that like I'm literally going to be able to put in my pockets everything that I need to, um, to shoot, theoretically, high quality video and, uh, and upload it to you guys. So yeah, if you guys don't already, if you're just finding this, uh, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, ring the bell, and I'll see you soon.